and this is an ultrasound of a primary gravida for her uh, first visit to me, 17 weeks gestational age and uh, by female length. What we see in this case is that uh, the placenta is anterior wall, chorion, chorion is seen, coronic plate is seen, this is the placenta anterior wall and this is the uh, heart of the fetus and the cardiac activity is with a normal, no abnormality seen. What we see is uh, basically in this in this uh, fetus is that uh, now this is the brain of the fetus where we are unable to see the uh, cranium This is the fetal head showing only the part of the brain but uh, no cranium is formed, they say cranium. Here we are. This is the part of the brain that you will in front of you. This is all brain matter, this is the outer skull membrane, uh, sorry, brain membrane meninges and uh, otherwise the skull is not visualized. You can see that uh, and there is, uh, we can see blood vessels within this, uh, this part of the brain, the middle cerebral artery is seen. Here, this is flickering of the vessel. Red vessel is the middle cerebral artery. From here starts the neck region now. This is the neck, part of the neck of the fetus. And uh, you see, as such, uh, no skull bo bone is seen. The facial features are evident. They are seen, the eyes can be made out and this is hypotellurism. This is the eye and this is the eye. See the total interocular distance is 2.1 centimeter and this is hypotellurism. And these are the choroid plexuses and this is the choroid plexus one and this is the other one. This, these two structures are choroid plexuses. And the rest of the, uh, this is the membrane surrounding the internal uh, brain tissue. Here we come across the neck region, which is, does not show any anomaly. This is the neck region. This is the, the chest. You see the heart and uh, the aorta. Okay, then there is no evidence of spinal cord, spinal cord is not formed, however the limbs are normal, as you see this is the uh, femur, this is the another one, skull is not formed. So far as the abdomen is concerned, we do see the urinary bladder, tiny, yeah, this is the urinary bladder and uh, this is the kidney. This is the transfer section of the abdomen and if you note that uh, no vertebra is seen, however, 
stomach bubble is seen here is we do see the stomach bubble here and as the spine is not formed so the question of spine and bulkhead etc veins out this is the uh, umbilical cord typical showing uh, two arteries one vein in longitudinal as well as in transfer section so This is the umbilical cord. And the uh, resistive index, the umbilical cord is 4.95, which is uh, highly, you know, which is much higher than uh, accepted normal. This is a complete view of the fetus, fetus Meyer's. 8.8 uh, centimeters and the cervical length is this is the cervix and the cervix measures 4.1 no issue it's okay now in this view you are seeing amniotic fluid clear amniotic fluid the brain the choroid plexus is this is the uh, as neck region and here the shoulder and as I move for transversely you will see the heart this is the heart no skull seen limbs are otherwise normal we can see the finger and the eyes the facial features are seen frog eye as we call it this is the uh, I and this is the nose, this is the mouth. So facial features are uh, clearly uh, seen. This is, a, this is the hand of the fetus and you can count the fingers, they are normal in number, no problem. So this is our case study, Fania with no development of the spine. And obviously these patients do show oligo or polyhydramnios, though in this patient the amount of fluid is not uh, too much, uh, keeping in view the gestational age of 17 weeks, uh, I mean this is acceptable. So this is our case of the day. And uh, once again a review. Thank you very much.